Hey there, I'm Hannah, and today I want to talk all about LinkedIn photos. After all, your LinkedIn photo is more important than you probably think. 60 to 70% of what we communicate is non-verbal, and that's true of your LinkedIn profile too. It's not just about the words, but also about the visual impact of your profile. People will be making subconscious judgments based on your expression, your body language, even the composition and the look of your profile picture. This is even more true if someone's doing a search on LinkedIn. As a recruiter, I would often search for candidates using key search terms and LinkedIn would bring up a long list of profiles for me to look at. Now I might click on the first few because they're a close match, but certainly as I was scrolling through, I would be clicking on ones that stood out. And a big part of this was the profile picture. If you've got a terrible LinkedIn picture right now, it could be the thing that's letting you down. Whether you're looking for a job, simply networking, or perhaps you're looking to promote your company or your services. So in this video, I'm going to let you know some of the big mistakes people make on their LinkedIn photos. And I'm also going to give you some tips on how to make a LinkedIn photo that makes the right impression. So what are some of the big mistakes that people make on their LinkedIn photo? Number one, using their ID photo as their LinkedIn photo. This is a big no-no. It never looks good, especially if you have scanned in your picture and it's blurry or wonky. It just looks like you made no effort and probably it's not even the best picture of you. No doubt you won't be smiling, you'll look very serious and very formal and that's not necessarily the impression you want to make on your LinkedIn picture. Number two, the far away or blurry shot where we can't even see your face. I see this all too often. What are you trying to hide? Let us see you and be able to connect with you. Number three, the picture where you just cropped yourself out of a group shot. Come on, I'm sure you've got a picture of just you that we can see. Number four, the not so professional picture. Maybe you're out partying or you've got a big glass of wine in your hand. That might be okay if you work in that industry, but otherwise it's a big no-no and sends the wrong impression. Number five, the selfie picture, especially if you're taking it in the mirror with your phone. That might have been okay back in the year 2000, but not anymore. So if you've got one of those photos, you definitely need to change your LinkedIn photo today. So what makes a good LinkedIn photo? Number one, you should take a picture, especially for this purpose. If you're on LinkedIn, then you probably have access to a camera phone or at least a friend with a decent camera. So take a picture that you're going to use specifically for professional networking. What should you wear? I suggest wearing whatever you would normally wear to work. Pick that outfit that makes you feel really great perhaps the one that you would wear to go and see clients. That doesn't have to be a suit. If you work in a creative industry, that might be a really great t-shirt. The point is you want to look like somebody who works in your industry so that those subconscious connections are made when someone is looking at your profile. What background should you use? It could be a plain white background, but you can also be creative. Just make sure that it's not too distracting and that it is in line with your industry and the brand that you are looking to portray. Please don't take pictures inside your car or as I said, at a party, but a nice neutral outside background can work really well and can help your profile stand out against all of those plain white backgrounds that we see. Another tip, smile, look at the camera and engage. A really engaging, smiling photograph is going to draw people in and make people more likely to want to connect with you. A good tip to help with this is to get somebody who you really like, who makes you laugh, to take the picture. You're more likely to have a natural smile and that is going to really come through in your photograph. 
From a technical point of view, you want to make sure that the picture is as high quality as you can using the best equipment that you have access to. The picture should be ideally a headshot, but don't be afraid to be creative if you've got a really great idea that's going to help you stand out. And finally, if you're not sure, then ask for some feedback. Sometimes our own view of what is the best image of us may not be what other people think. So ask people, what does this photo say to you? What impression does it give you about me? You want to pick the one that is going to paint you in the best light in order to increase your chances of your profile standing out on LinkedIn and people clicking because they want to know more. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you've got any questions, why not drop them in the comments below? Thanks and see you next time.